I am somewhat upset about the notion that as a democratic society, our schools somehow are not providing equal access. We studied mainstream classrooms, and it was as a result of interest on the part of two consultants from two very large school districts. And they were interested in finding out how learning varied in a classroom with 90% ESL students versus a classroom with only 5% ESL students. And the, the results of that study were, were very dramatic. They suggested to us that about a 60% ESL level, 60% and higher ESL level is actually no longer an ESL class. It's more like an EFL class. So English as a foreign language is the way students in Japan, for instance, would learn English. There seems to be a best ratio where both ESL students and English speakers do best. And that's about uh, one third ESL up to about 50% ESL. It's a, an astounding finding. You can become a teacher in the province of British Columbia and never have to take a single ESL methodology course. That's scandalous. Because the moment our student teachers become teachers and go into their classrooms in the lower mainland, they will be in classrooms that have ESL students. Tonight we're talking about issues related to research, uh, ethics, um, um, consent. What I do normally is I photograph every student at the beginning of the, the class. I put it into my, um, my computer and we begin a discussion of how I could broadcast it over the entire world. I'm into photography and have been for a long time. I use it in class. I use it as just part of uh, my enjoyment of life and taking pictures of people like you and my class. <laughs>